hello guys and welcome to today's video well today we are gonna just have a little update video on how the things will be the next upcoming weeks um, so when my new paycheck has arrived I have actually a few modifications planned for the BMW hooray um, I have actually four new things planned for the car and um, one is already ordered and the other ones are getting ordered next week. Um, so what did we plan for the car? Well, um, we got a new splitter for in the front and I will explain very soon why uh, I actually got a new splitter uh, because something has happened since the last video which really hurts my feelings. Uh, we also are getting new tires because the rear ones are just bald as fuck. And my car, slight, with the slightest wet on the road, I don't even have to go full throttle and I'm already spinning. So my really my tires need to get replaced ASAP. So I'm getting semi-slicks this time just to see how it drives. I'm gonna try it once and we'll see. I mean, I don't think it will be that bad. Um, we're also getting, um, how do I you call it but it's it, it's it's a strut brace for in the front in the engine so to make the chassis a little bit more stiff uh, I a strut brace I don't know if that's the right word I think it is you know uh, it goes between your two uh, coil over uh, where, where your coil overs are in your car that connect uh, over the engine so I can't say the, the word at the moment but that's also getting on the car um, and then we are getting new floor mats. Yeah, uh, that's not really a big modification, but I'm also going to explain in a moment why we are replacing those. And then I actually found out about a new modification that just, they newly made it for the One Series. It's fresh and I think it looks super dope and I'm really on the edge of my seat of getting it. It's not cheap, um, but I'm gonna show some pictures after everything and then you guys have to tell me if I should get this for my car because it looks so freaking dope um, it's basically it's an M3 CS style look hood for the car so my, actually my hood needs repainting uh, because you know it has been repainted before and I actually think it hasn't been done that great because I can see some small you know like that some on some places that the paint is a little bit thicker than other places and also you know I have some the hood is not not in bad shape not in great condition either I mean the, the it has been repainted because the car has been repaired for from hail damage and it hasn't been repainted perfectly I also have some stone chips uh, by now because I drive very slow um, so I mean I want to do the hood eventually redo it but then I'm like I mean getting it repainted isn't that cheap but now with the new uh, with the new you know hood it will look so great so I'm gonna show some pictures after I've explained all the other things uh, what we are doing exactly with the car so yeah as you can see here on my splitter I fucked up pretty badly and I will have to redo this a little bit and it's just it's coming off um, but yeah, as you can see, I fucked up my splitter a little bit. I re-glued this and used some duct tape so it stays in place. But yeah, I had a little oopsie and you know, it sucks. I mean, you don't see it from that far away and that's a big insect. Uh, but you don't see it from that far away. But yeah, um, I did a little oopsie and that really sucks. So I ordered a new splitter and I didn't order the same one. I order, ordered a different one, not from Maxton Design this time actually. Uh, I'm gonna show a picture from a friend who has a splitter on his car and I think it looks better because I actually first thought that I ordered that splitter that I'm gonna show right away. Um, because the difference, the main difference is, you know, those pieces here are black on that splitter. And also the car that showed this, uh, this splitter that I bought from the website also had those pieces in black. So I thought, okay, those will be black on my splitter too. But apparently that car had those things wrapped in black. So that was a little bit misleading, which sucked a little bit, to be honest. 
uh, but I was like, you know, I have the splitter anyway, and I'm going to get that wrapped. And you no, know, I was actually asking how much it would cost to wrap that, and you know, I got some major difference, uh, price differences. Uh, but it was, you know, between 50 to 150 euro. But now with the new splitter, I don't have to do that cost anymore. So eventually, I mean, the new splitter still sucks, but you know, we got a little bit more aggressive look at the end of the day. So I'm gonna show a picture now of what so I. So here is a new splitter, and here you can definitely see that it's not wrapped. And this is a splitter installed on a friend's car, and I really like the look of it. Uh, I also uh, I parked the car here because it started raining. And also a very good thing about this new style splitter is I have a lot of stone chipping and a lot of dead bugs. I <laughs> I will have to clean that out. Uh, holy shit! Um, but I have really like a lot of stone chipping here, and now with the new splitter that will be covered without me having to repaint it because most like 80% of the chipping happens here, and you know that will still be visible, but. So that will also be covered. So it's a, it's basically a win-win. Um, yeah, it's 150 euro win-win, but it's a small win. So yeah, I mean now we know what we are gonna do with the splitter. So that's already ordered. Um, so that will arrive within a week, and then we will install that one. Now the hood. Uh, we're not gonna touch that yet, uh, but I'm gonna talk with that about the hood later on. Um, but now here, on this car, I, the strut brace goes between here and here. Um, I want to I want to order that one for looks in the engine bay a little bit, and also it will stiffen up the chassis a little bit more. So that's gonna have a nice, great new look. So now we can close that one. Uh, is that rust? No. Unfortunately not. Okay. Uh, now the rear tires, as you can see, are almost yeah, they are they are pretty much gone. So yeah, uh, I need new tires, new tires ASAP. Um, so yeah, those are getting on the car. I'm also getting front ones because uh, the rear ones I'm getting will be much will have much more grip than these but the problem is if I don't replace the fronts I will have much more understeer, understeer which I don't want to because these are actually still pretty good uh, we're also getting rid of the tire ladders because I'm not gonna redo them on the new tires I think they're just too expensive for what they are and you know whatever and then the last thing that we are gonna do are the mats on the car because this one is really getting filthy and it always it doesn't stick anymore I don't know why but it's it's falling apart on like you can see here on the side it's falling apart so yeah we are also getting those in M performance look so with a nice gray stripe that will look way 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 better um, it will give an extra touch to the interior and then the last modification which I just saw and I'm gonna show some pictures right now so yeah this is an M3 CS tire look for the 1 series and this is how it looks and on uh, M3 it's, CS it's so tempting to do it I'm gonna go on wide angle it's so so tempting to to do that you know that CS hood look uh, because you know it's a pretty decent paint job on this hood but I mean it's not perfect like here we have a stone chip so yeah there's a stone chip there's also a, somewhere a little uh, here I don't know if you can see it on camera but here's a little I don't know there's like dust under the paint it's like chipping a little bit so you can see here that that's you know that will have to be repainted to get that done and then also here on the inside that's a very, very rough spot, as you can see here. That's very roughly painted, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so the paint job on this is not perfect. And in the main sun, you, you can also see here that this is like a droplet. It's like it's a little bit thicker paint. So the paint job on this car, car's hood, isn't that good. So that's also a little bit tempting. It's not that it's terrible, I mean, it's, it's about details and 
if I never showed you guys, you would never see those. But yeah, it's tempting. It's very tempting to do that update on the car. I'm still not sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the CS look is a little bit more aggressive and I think that would really suit the car very well. And if I would get a 140i later, I can just you know reuse that hood. But then some are really, really aggressive and I will have to park the car underneath because there is a lot of rain falling as you can see. It's pretty cool to see, but that's rain falling. So I will park the car uh, back under the carport. We're not we're not driving anymore with those rear ball tires. So yeah, those are the new updates on the car. And tell me what you think about the car on the on the BMW M hood. I just it's tempting. It's like 600 euro, so it's pretty okay. And then painting is probably another three four hundred euro. So it's a thousand euro upgrade, but it's a cool one. It really sets the car apart from other cars. And now then in combination with the new front splitter, it's going to uh, I don't know man, uh, it's tempting, it's very very tempting. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, tell me what you think about the mo new modifications that are coming and tell me what you think about the hood, because my fingers are itching really really hard to do it this year. I'm, if I'm gonna do it, it will be for this year, we're first gonna do some other modifications first, but that hood, I think it's coming this year, it looks so dope. Anyway guys. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye!